All right, everyone, welcome to this uh, amazing webinar that I'm going to share with you today. It's called the ultimate guide for hiring and managing cleaning employees. This is definitely the most challenging thing we all face uh, when we're running cleaning services. My name is Juan Chaparro, and I am the CEO at, from Gmates and Pipe Hire. So let's get started. Let me share my screen first. All right, perfect. So uh, we want to start covering today's topics, and these are uh, how to market your cleaning job to attract the right employees, uncovering common problems in your hiring process, tracking and measuring employees' key metrics, identifying A, B, and C players, and developing a company culture. Also, I'm going to be running a small um, demo of Pipe Hire, a software that we built for hiring. And uh, this is our story. Um, I met Karen about uh, 2000 or so, 2001 or 2002. We were really teenagers at this party back in Colombia. We started cleaning when we were 18 and 21 years old. We moved to the U.S. Uh, separately and then, you know, got together and started cleaning homes. Uh, so... We did it back then, really starting by knocking on doors, uh, you know, giving away flyers, business cards. And we tried everything that we possibly could to make our business started. We were very young and really had no business experience. Uh, so, but thankfully, one day we got featured in Daily Candy back then. Daily Candy was big, very important. And, you know, suddenly we started to get tons of clients out of nothing, really. But we were really focused on providing great service to our clients. And this is what helped us then sustain uh, those new clients that we received through this feature. One of the main issues we found as we grew was uh, constantly hiring and failing and repeating this because we didn't have a system or a process to do this. So we, you know, hire people, but suddenly two, three months later, they were gone. And this caused tons of frustration. Um, we started to grow back, uh, really to grow in 2015-16. Uh, we implemented pay by performance uh, payment, and that helped us get rid of all the independent contractor model and really focus on hiring W2 employees, and which we can take care of and really build a company culture. So, but I noticed that I was stuck at the process of finding great people we were getting a lot of clients but very few uh, new uh, employees so you know i said uh, i have to build something that will help me uh, scan and determine if somebody will be a great employee for my company so i started dabbling uh, with software in 2018 uh, with my team and uh, we built pipe hire it's a twin internal tool that we built inside our Gmates dashboard. And this tool really helped us change the way we run our business and interview people and screen people and really onboard a person into our company. Uh, with that in mind, we hit a million dollar goal in 2019 as revenue um, that helped, you know, thanks to an improved process on sales, obviously. And but most importantly on hiring because once you have the right people in your team, you can bring the right amount of clients. So uh, this is our Gmate side. Uh, we're leaders in green cleaning in Dallas since 2004. That's our goal or focus. Uh, you know, healthy homes, families, and souls, as we call it. Uh, we've been featuring Forbes, NBC, and Google. Uh, and, you know, this has led me to build really custom software to operate my business more efficiently. And some of these tools that I'm building are uh, coming out on the public to other businesses. So check us out when you have a chance. Now, let's get really into the, the topic of the slide here. Um, how to market your job. Well, the first thing is that you have to find the right candidates, the right people and the right channels. Uh, because you want to make sure you put the right person in the right seat. So uh, one of my favorites really are the free jobs groups that exist in Facebook. And 
you know, every city in the U.S., there's a group for jobs, free pay. So you want to put the, your, uh, you want to create your ad in uh, Google, in, excuse me, in Facebook jobs, and then share it, kind of market it in those groups. So here I have on this uh, slide here, in this link, I have uh, different sites, different parts of the country with different groups that you want to check it out. So we've, you know, saving you time by building this list. Obviously, there is the Indeed uh, method, which is very common. Everybody's using it. It also works. Um, but my favorite definitely for free ends will be Facebook jobs. Now, there's a new strategy that I'm working on. It's a YouTube paid. Uh, so you create a video, professional video, and then post it on your different zip codes where your A players live. So you look at your employees list, see where they live, their zip code, and then you can tell on YouTube to target that specific zip code to show your videos. This is something we've done probably two years ago and has worked tremendously. And that combined with Facebook, uh, it's really all we need. Um, one of my favorite strategies is really the referrals from my current employees. Um, once they're sold into the company's vision, they end up bringing new people. You offer them a bonus, $250 to $300 after 90 days of employment, and they're happily referring other people. Now, second thing, you have to build a list of candidates, uh, just like you do with clients. You want to email all candidates via email and text, letting them know that you have a new job, uh, obviously, those all candidates might not have the requirements, but they might know somebody that do have or ask the requirements that you ask for the job. Um, we create marketing campaigns to attract this type of employees, and you want to treat them like basically a client, uh, just the same way you market, you create a list, you follow up, and then that's how you get more applicants in the door. Um, the third thing will be to build a careers page in your website. This is uh, very important. You want to create a great website with a clean look, emphasize the value of your job, not just an application. You want to explain what's different about your job. You Got to make it attractive, easy, and, and simple to apply. That means online application, no more paper applications. Uh, that's really slowing the process a lot. And, you know, we should be able to, these days, you know, with any form builder, create or jobs uh, application. Also, very important, you want to reply within the same business day uh, to those qualified applicants. Uh, otherwise, they will go somewhere else. So, speed counts. Uh, here's an example of our, you know, our, our page or jobs page in our company. Um, so, you want to have a video explaining everything about it, benefits, requisites, testimonials. And then at the end, you want to have an, a link to completing their application. We have an, our application in Spanish and English. That way you give opportunity to, you know, both markets. Now, jumping into the second thing, uh, topic is uncovering common problems in your hiring process. And I call these the warning signs where you need to re-engineer your process. These are the following. You're manually uh, entering candidates into a spreadsheet or tracking them in a spreadsheet, Google's uh, online spreadsheets or anywhere, or whiteboards. So you cannot continue that. You're not going to succeed very much in that process. Uh, you still have to manually screen resumes and applications. Uh, you can let other people in your office hire new employees, so you're the only one hiring, screening, and that's really a bottleneck. You cannot be the bottleneck of your business when it comes to hiring. Uh, also, you're taking too long to reply with a decision. You need to know quickly within the same business day or next day if you want to call this person for in-person interview. If you're taking too long, that's a problem. That employee is going somewhere else to work. Uh, you haven't been able to grow. If you find this, you know, can find employees, can find the right person, then that's a problem in your hiring process. And also you're wasting too much time in many processes uh, that you know, slows down the process. So this is some warning signs that you need to keep in mind uh, that you need to fix. 
How do we fix the process? Basically, you have to follow a process. This is the most important thing you want to take on this call is you got to follow a process. And this process, you have the lead scoring. The lead scoring basically says this applicant has 1.5 points or 10 points, whichever you want. And this will help you determine if this person should move to the next stage. It has to be easy for candidates to apply. You have to be constantly hiring. And this process doesn't have to depend on the owner completely. It has to be able to be done by an office manager or somebody else in the office. That way uh, you can grow your business. Now, on the third thing we want to track on once we have those employees in are the most important metrics for them is employee attendance. This is very important to track uh, because you will know if this person will become a problem down the road. So if you're not tracking attendance properly, you're going to miss on some important things. Number two, employee complaints and compliments. Uh, count the totals and assign a score to each complaint and compliment. And three, employee sales. Normally, a good full-time employee should be selling between fifty-five to $65,000 per year on sales. A full-time employee that has an optimized calendar. So very important, those uh, metrics to keep in mind. How we do that, uh, we built, uh, Pipe Harrison mentioned, and we call it the all-in-one hiring and management cleaning business software. Uh, the way we do this is really by tracking all the things that I mentioned into one system, and that's how we've been able to grow our business. So let me show you briefly here. So Pipe Hire really has all these sections on the left. I'm gonna show you the most important. This is the funnel. So every time somebody applies through uh, pipe hire, you get applicants into these different stages, incomplete or applicant, qualified. And then you can see their employees' information, their details, if you have extra details. And the goal is that you drag them to the different stages. This will help you visualize the process and make better decisions. Now, let's say you want to interview somebody. So you drag this person here. And then you select a time where you want to interview this person. And then you can send a text message here, or you can send an email with a reminder of this appointment. You can also include a URL or anything that you want the employee to see prior to the interview. So that you can send that, and that is sent to the text to the uh, cell phone that's on file for this uh, particular person. These uh, recruitment scores here, 10 and 20s, uh, those are based on the actual uh, responses given on their forms so, or their application, uh, correct. So when you have a, an, an application here, um, the way we do this is Pyhar allows you to build that form for the job. You can make it in Spanish and English or both languages. You have a section of terms and conditions. And then you have pre-made templates already with all the questions that you want to answer. And we have scores. If you see here, are you authorized to work in the US has one point. And in here, you want to make sure to assign points to the correct questions. These points is what we refer to lead scoring. And this lead scoring is what allows you to quickly visualize in the funnel who you should uh, hire or not, because you don't have time to go through all the different applicants. So for example, Amelia, this applicant here has 20 points. So I know she has everything that I'm asking for. Now I'm gonna really call her and interview her. Uh, Carla, for example, she's not, qualified she has just two points so i'm just gonna archive her right now so this is the most important thing you want to know from the funnel once you have uh the funnel obviously you build your forms you have, can build different forms for different type of jobs office jobs or cleaning technicians jobs and all this this is building the system now um this is an, an example of how a form looks like for those applicants. Obviously, your logo will be displayed here once you change it. 
And now let's look at the employee section. We have here, for example, a, an employee profile. So employee profiles shows you everything about the employee. And in this, uh, we call it employee profile. You can see all the attendance records that we've been tracking. So you track this here based on you know, any issues the employee had. You can track what's going on with this person and then create a record in the system. And uh, we're tracking attendance through this little tracker. And we have here also complaints and compliments. So you can see what the customers are saying about this particular employee. This is very important when you're doing your one-on-one -on -one meetings. You can determine if this person is really a problem or not. Now, um, let's look at the onboarding process with somebody. Uh, Pipehire allows you to run background checks on different employees. So you can, uh, for example, we already run this in Anna and she has a clear status. And when you click here, you can see her full report. So the system has pre-built uh, background checks in the system and this will allow you to really determine if this person should continue in the process or not. Obviously she is an employee now and all the information about her application is here. Notes is a section where you can put in the notes of the interview. Uh, interview score is for the face-to-face -face scoring, which I'll tell you more in another time. Uh, the onboarding checklist, very important because we check in all the stuff that we have to collect on the onboarding process for this employee. So if you see here, we have to go through all of these things before somebody starts to work. And under the document section, we have driver's license expiration dates and insurance expiration. So what this is going to do is to remind you to check a month before about her driver's license expiration and won't create more problems in your business. Now, trainings that you offer to this employee, you got to check them here. That way you remember what training you provided and then an expiration date. The benefits that you provide are here. And whenever you have to let somebody go, you have to offboard that person. And then at that point, you will finish with all these checklists. All of these lists that I show you are editable in the employee attribute section. So that's kind of a brief uh, explanation of, of pipe hire. Um, the way we track compliments and complaints is here. So you add a new compliment. And all of this is recorded in the system and it can be sent, if you want, to the employee for them to see uh, via text message. All right, so that was kind of the a quick demo about it. Uh, I will continue here. So and the fourth point is how to identify our A and B and C players. So A players, typically, they're looking for the best job. They call and apply within the same day. You got to call them back as soon as possible. They fill all the questions of the application. Uh, prior jobs experience section is fully completed. You can call those past managers and really ask them about their work. They show up on time to the interview. Mm, they have a strong word and they are committed. Their no is no and their yes is a yes. This is very important. They show integrity in the process. And they ask about the questions uh, about the company and what's in it for them. And they typically score uh, on our funnel between 8 to 10 points. These are the people that you want to use uh, to build your company. This will help you grow. This will help you retain customers. And these are the people that you want to give them the opportunity. B players, they're looking for a good opportunity, not the best opportunity. Uh, they, you, know, you can call them and apply within the... 24, 48 hours. Uh, they fill all the questions to the application or almost all the questions. Um, prior experience is almost completed. You can call references. They show up on time. They're open to multiple job offers. And they score six to seven points in our scoring. About C players, they're really looking for any job. You can call them really within the next week. They're, you know, they fill partially the application. They don't completely 100% fill it. Uh, you cannot verify normally uh, 
their prior experience, call past managers. Uh, they usually reschedule your appointment or cancel the appointment for the interview. They arrive late. They don't show fully committed to anything. They've been in many jobs before. Um, they are open to any job that you offer them. Uh, they're not picky because they, are, they know they're C players and they just want a quick job while they find the next thing. And they typically score between zero to five points. So that's typically how you identify. So you want to make sure you hire only A and B players never see players because you're going to be turning over people constantly. And my fifth uh, point here is uh, how to build company culture to retain and gain more A players. And this is what has worked for us. You have to build a company culture where family advancement, continued education, workshops, bonuses, and random acts of kindness are built in into your process. Very important because people tend to stick longer with a company where they feel appreciated, where they feel there's opportunity to move forward. And that is what you want to portray as what you want your company to be. The best job, the best position, the best company to work for in your city. There's many work jobs out there, but you can change your company culture by just treating them like family and giving them different opportunities for becoming better. Uh, some of those workshops we've run, for example, are how to buy a house, how to repair their credit. Uh, we've sent chiropractors to our workshops to help them uh, learn how to bend and how to move during their cleaning. Uh, we've provided chiropractic care. And all of these things make it feel like a you know, more established, better company. And you want to portray this. This is very important. Also, how the company is run and managed shows a lot to the employees. Um, so you want to make sure that you portray the professional company. I recommend that you pay them weekly via ACH or and deposit. And this will show consistency versus, you know, maybe printing checks. In my opinion, it's easier, faster, better. And it's emo emotional. You know, when they get an email saying they being paid, this all helps to build that company culture. And most importantly, how you gain more A players is that when you bring the A players into your company, they will refer new people. They will bring new A players because they hang out with more of those people. So you want to build that into your processes. Now, if you are interested in uh, our Pipe Hire software, we have an offer for those who want to use it. Uh, you can go to pipehirehrm.com forward slash pricing, select the pro plan, and enter the Mate Summit code. Uh, you will get three months of the pro plan for just $59. Uh, you can give it a try and see how it works for you. And we hope that you can you know, grow your business with this tool. And if you have questions, please do contact us. Uh, at support at pipehrhrm.com and you want to follow us in our Facebook group and uh, we hope to see you on the other side growing your business and uh, we'll see you in the next talk. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.